Hi there. Today we're going to quickly talk about how to start a corporation in Idaho with the Idaho Secretary of State. Now uh, there's two kinds of corporations, domestic and foreign, and that goes for any business really, either domestic, which means that you're forming or incorporating within the state, or foreign, which means that you're an out-of-state uh, corporation and you'd like to get permission to transact your business uh, within Idaho. For anyone wondering about the state statutes uh, surrounding corporations, you can click here. Um, I'll bring into the yeah state statutes. Um, unfortunately, there is no uh, online filing option for um, the Idaho Secretary of State, so you're going to need to download the PDF file of either the Articles of Incorporation or the Foreign Registration Statement. And then you're going to have to fill that out and duplicate and mail it into the Office of the Secretary of State with a filing fee of $100 if it's a profit corporation and $30 if it is a non-profit corporation. So let's get started here. How to incorporate. First thing you're going to want to do is decide on a name if you haven't already uh, been operating under a name. Um, this name is going to have to be completely unique within the state of Idaho to ensure that that's the case. You're going to want to click on the business entity search link here. It'll give you a tutorial on how to search for your business entity name uh, on the Secretary of State website. Uh, once you've done that and you've entered your name into the search bar and no results have come up, you can pretty much assume that you're going to be able to use the name that you like. Also, a name reservation can be used. It's especially useful for foreign corporations. Uh, who'd like to prevent other companies from registering under their current name um, while they uh, before they filed with the Secretary of State of Idaho, if that makes sense. Click on this link here if uh, you're confused by that, and it'll, it'll give you a run-through of exactly what needs to be done. Um, second step is you're going to have to decide uh, you know, what kind of corporation you're going to be running here. So it's either domestic profit, domestic non-profit, or foreign corporation. Each one of these leads to a different uh, tutorial um, for how to file for uh, these various corporations. Um, once you've printed off the form and you've filled it out, or the other way around, preferably, fill it out and then print it off because you're going to be able to avoid the uh, $20 filing fee for those who handwrite their forms. But once you've done that, um, you're going to want to attach to it, if you're a foreign uh, corporation, a certificate of good standing from your original state or country. Um, that's going to have to have been issued within 90 days of filing with uh, the state of Idaho. So attach that um, and also write a check out for $100 if you're a profit corporation, $30 if you're non-profit. Um, put all items in an envelope and send it to this address down here to finish your filing. A few tips. Employment identification numbers. This is something that everyone who's just filed for um, a business should um, go about acquiring. It's going to allow the IRS to recognize you um, for tax identification purposes. Also, you're not going to be able to do any sort of uh, financial transaction without one of these numbers. So. Um, if you click here, or actually on either one of these links, it'll show you exactly how to go about getting one of those, because it's essential. The corporate bylaws. If you click on this, you'll find a template for those. Now, what corporate bylaws is, it's a document which will underline um, the rules and regulations of your corporation. Uh, it, it, it'll be the only document which um, talks about how you plan to manage and govern your employees, um, the amount of shares each shareholder has and their responsibilities, how you plan on electing the board of directors and the board of directors of responsibilities. It's really a guideline and a rule book for how you plan to operate your corporation. It's not legally required, um, but it's definitely, definitely recommended that you uh, write one up because it'll show, other than just being organized, it'll show financial institutions and other businesses that you plan on um, doing business with uh, that you're a legitimate um, force. 
renewal. All business entities in Idaho will have to renew each year with the Secretary of State by filing an annual report. Now this is something that can be done online and it's something that can be done for free. Uh, a little while before you're due to file, uh, they'll send you a postcard. On that postcard will have your filing number, the PIN used for uh, online, uh, for logging in online, and the due date. Now, if you fail to file by the due date, you will no longer be in good standing, and if enough time passes, um, you'll be forfeited and dissolved, and you'll have to apply for reinstatement, which can be pricey. So I hope that was helpful, guys. Best of luck to you.